In 2021, we had an incredible adventure overlanding Botswana in our Suzuki gym. In part three, we head into the Okavango and camp along the Kwai River. So we just left Audi camp on our way now to Mound to go and restock some of our supplies before we head to Kwai Magoto campsite. Audi was lovely, we had a really, really nice breakfast there this morning that came with our little tented accommodation. Super stoked about that. Um, yeah, it was lovely there. just left Maun and we're just stopping here we're on the dirt road now so we've got to let some air out of the tires and we're gonna just strap our jerry cans down because the roads a bit corrugated and we don't want to lose one of our cans we should arrive in Kwai around Hoppus 1 which is gonna be nice have a nice chill at the campsite tonight we're not gonna and head out for a drive or anything we're just gonna try and get there and set up camp and just relax and enjoy ourselves So we've just found our first Ellie's of the holiday, all chilling at the water here, getting nice and wet on a hot day. Oh look at him, yo and listen to the birds. Everyone's stoked about the water here. Everyone's stoked about the water. <laughs> Let's keep rolling. Yeah, let's head to our campsite. There's probably a herd of elephant in our campsite. <laughs> After a little bit of confusion along the way, we entered Maremi Game Reserve at Southgate with the intention of getting to our campsite at Kwai Mahoto by lunch, or so our not so trusty GPS led us to believe. Welcome to Maremi Game Reserve. Hello. The guy at the front desk now, oh, what was his name? Shane. Shane. He said that the wild dogs are at Makoto, so hopefully they're there when we're there. They think that they've got a den site around there, so they should be hanging around there. We'd really, really, really like to see some dogs. That would be really nice. <laughs> um, I'm getting a little over it, to be honest with you. <laughs> These roads are so bad. We are very much looking forward to arriving at our campsite. We've still got 37 kilometers to go, and since we left the gate, we've only done 12, and it's felt like an eternity. <laughs> Northgate. Um, we basically just we drove through Maremi Game Reserve um, and now we're going out and heading to Kwamagoto. Hey there's the bridge. 
Oh. We're going to cross that now. to find our campsite or just the camp at Kwamagato and we realized as we entered Kwai that we could have actually come here a, a completely different route and probably gotten here at about half past one when we were supposed to it's now four o'clock <laughs> and we've been bumbling through the Maremi game reserve seemingly for no reason at all yeah it's been lovely Ooh. oh and we just saw a, king, a kingfisher that, that we would never have amazing. seen. So, I mean, he was beautiful. There we go. Wow. You know, if there was any reason why we were complaining now on this video, we just saw a kingfisher, which we shall identify later once the garment is back on. <laughs> the we drove around the Choir Conservancy in circles, only to find a number of completely flooded roads to our campsite. We enjoyed an amazing but unplanned game drive along the Kwai River, watching and worrying as the sun started to get real low. So, update. <laughs> um, some very nice people in a game drive vehicle. Oh, we from think, Machaba Camp? Yeah. Um, have offered to show us the way because all those routes are closed because they're flooded. So, now we have to make our way back to the main road where we were and apparently we can get to Makoto from there. <laughs> Thank heavens for this guy in front of us here. What a champ. <laughs> So we think we're in campsite 11, it's not marked, um, there was nowhere to check in. Um, everyone else said that the people should come through tomorrow, but we don't know. Um, but yeah, this is where we're going to make camp and if we have to move tomorrow, then we have to move. So dinner for tonight is some cheese and crackers and dips and lots of alcohol because we've had one hell of a day. It's already starting to get dark here. We literally arrived just in the nick of time. Oh, it's beautiful. Our campsite was set in a small clearing on the edge of the Kwai River floodplains. The habitat is perfect for a large variety of game, and you don't even have to leave your campsite to experience it.
The elephants and kwai frequently visit the campsites, and even though they seem completely relaxed with the campers, this was our first time camping with elephants, and we shat ourselves every time they appeared out of nowhere. If you think an animal of that size would have trouble sneaking up on you, you'd be wrong. Got a lovely little paradise here. We had some Ellie's through last night and again this morning. We actually just had a big bull come through now checking what was going on. That was quite fun. And we're busy making some brunch now. We're gonna have some toasties and some eggs and mushrooms. It's gonna be delicious. So on the menu tonight is a delicious veggie poiki. Not really a poiki pot, but anyway, <laughs> making do with what we have. First little game drive exploring the area around Kwai Mahuato. These are the floodplains that we're driving through at the moment. We just saw a really nice little giraffe battle going on. Um, they've lost interest now, or well, the, the female giraffe lost interest and walked off, and the two males decided to follow. But yeah, we're just gonna explore this area. Go. We're on our way to a viewpoint that's marked on the map here. Go check that out. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of water around the actual river, so we can't really get very far in um, because we can't wade very deep. So when we get to some water, we have to turn around, unfortunately. But yeah, still lots of little two tracks that we can explore anyway. This is the Kwai River, or a section of it anyway. Look at that. We found a beautiful little viewing point over here by the water. See the water there? It's lovely. So we're just chilling, watching some African jacanas. There's a fish eagle in the tree over there, monkeys in the tree above us. It's so lovely here. The Kwai concession is roughly 1,800 kilometers and is situated in the northeastern Okavango alongside the Maremi Game Reserve. The area is managed by the Kwai Development Trust and was formed by the local community who turned it from a hunting concession into an actively managed conservation area.
fortune has smiled upon us greatly again. We are on the transit road, we are on the border of Chobi, um, on our way from Kwai Makoto to Mbabe. And wild dogs. <laughs> Just like that. Just on the side of the road. Approximately two and a half kilometers from the village of Mbabe. Just goes to show you how wild this place is. Yeah. So it's a bit overcast today, um, nice and cool though. We're getting ready to go for a little bumble, probably going to go down to the water again, same place we were at yesterday. Haven't seen our cats yet, heard, we've been hearing lions every night, but like in the distance, so we're not really sure where they are, so maybe we can find some today. Yeah, we had to move camps sites, <laughs> well not campsites, but just move within our campsite again last night it's the third time we've moved just because every time we park somewhere and set up our tent we seem to be in the way of an elephant um, and we had a grumpy elephant come through here the other night he wasn't happy with where we we had put our tent so we decided to move it and just open up a little path for them rather and um, yeah I think we, we might have got it last night um, they seemed happy with where we were where we were parked so fingers crossed they remain happy with us so andrew's busy loading the tracks for africa map that ultimate roots gave us yeah <laughs> so that we don't end up getting lost in the okavango again um we tried to do it before but it just wouldn't load for some reason but he's figured it out now We decided to drive to the village to restock a few things, and we couldn't resist making a quick stop at Northgate to take some shots of Jimothy on the bridge. Kwai village, it's a lovely little shop, very nice people, nice little garden, so 
we had to buy some more toilet paper as <laughs> we ran out. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna head back to camp now, do a slow little drive, maybe see some more game on the road. Most of our good game viewing has been on the transit road actually. That evening, we took Jimothy down to the section of river closest to our campsite for some sundowners to enjoy our last sunset along the Kwai River. You're never gonna guess what I've just seen. What? A lion. What? Where? A f***ing lion. Straight ahead in the grass. Oh uh, my, my god. god. So we're here with uh, two female lions and three cubs. And a herd of zebra has just entered the fray. Um, as soon as the lion saw them, they went into stealth mode, which is what they're currently doing right now. They've lost track of one of the females. She was stalking them, so she could be anywhere in the brush here right now. We didn't see the cubs in CKGR, no. but this is definitely made up for it. We're making our way back to our campsite, and so are they. <laughs> um, we think that they're tracking those zebra because this is the way that they went. And earlier today, we saw the zebra in the open clearing right by our campsite. So, yeah. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> so we are less than 4Ks from the campsite and they're going to be in our campsite pretty soon. So what I'm trying to do now is basically go around to see if we can find them on the other road here. <laughs> We're too scared to have dinner. <laughs> and every rustle in the bushes here and every Franklin alarm call is completely freaking us out. So I think we're going to skip dinner and just head straight into the tent. <laughs> So we are busy packing up on our way out of Kwai Magoto. We're going to take the road that we should have taken to get here. <laughs> We have come to a water crossing and we thought
thought we would be able to go around because there's a little kind of dirt road there that goes around so it's a little loop but <laughs> on the dirt road we came across the, the biggest bull I've ever seen and his little friends um, and they were kind of blocking our way and not, not really wanting us to pass so now we're going to attempt the water crossing instead so you kind of have to walk these before you drive through them because um, you don't know how deep they are and we don't want to get into a situation where we get to the middle and it suddenly dips and it gets super deep and then we're stuck and then you can't do anything so Andrew is doing a bit of a walk and he's gonna decide Like how how deep can we go? We can pretty much go to the um, the middle of the headlights. Okay, it just looks quite deep in the middle there, and we don't know if this road like dips. That's the problem. Yeah. Let's um let's see what it feels like in the beginning here. Okay. Are you? Too sludgy. We're not going to risk it because we just do not know. No. I just don't feel like spending the day just outside Mbabe waiting for someone to rescue us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shocking. Bye really. guys. Thank you so much for letting us pass. Is that a hippo there? Really appreciate it. It no, is a hippo there. Yeah, this is the water crossing that Tim was talking about because it doesn't just stop there, it goes over and then you come along a bit there too. Yeah. <laughs> There's the road. Lol, Kano. No, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we definitely made, we made the right decision. Yeah, we made the right decision. No one gives you points for doing extreme 4x4 here, especially when you're by yourself. Yeah, exactly. Estimation is wrong. Even the tracks for Africa, um, like printed map uh, travel time, is wrong. Yeah. It takes almost double the amount of time that you think it's going to take. Yeah. Um, and it's just absolutely relentless. It doesn't matter what vehicle you're in Jimny, Land Cruiser, Land Rover, this is tough. Next time on Jimothy and Friends, we leave Audi Camp and make our way south to Naipan National Park. We get caught in some bad weather and we experience one of our best sightings to date. <laughs>